Hello, good afternoon and welcome to New Forest Mall. So I'm here with Jared. We're Wednesday evening feeding. We're focusing on our... Uh, Tuesday. New... Is it Tuesday? Yeah. Sorry, Tuesday evening feeding. <laughs> we just... Um, thank you, Jared. It's always good at keeping me straight. We're just focusing on our hatchlings. Jared and I have already fed a few of them, but we thought we'd just share a few of them with you. And uh, I know one or two of our viewers are um, wanting to know how to assist feed. And we've got two or three assist feeders that we're going to demonstrate. One of them are the clutch not the clutch the clutch that we had that actually had t two or three deformities they're the ones that are struggling to strike and bowl and and wrap and eat so we're having to assist a couple of those and as you can see up here jazz already fed dusty and chewy and you can see that they've learned to strike and wrap without being assist fed and also on this one over here so it's rusty that's blind and it's patsy that's got the most severe um Shark mouth. Shark mouth that are struggling to actually eat. So we're going to come back to those at the end of the session and show you how to assist feed those. Um, and then we'll work through the baby collections. I've already started on this side and you can see that we've had even the one in shed, at Ember, the inchy, fire inchy, <laughs> she took a, um, a rat fluff in shed. But you can see they're all in the process of digesting. One, two, three, four out of four. This one here, you can see this is what you're looking for for feeding. I don't know if you can see that Jared. Mm -hmm. You can see that there's a baby there. There's one that's already got a rat fluff in its mouth. You can see it's just starting to eat now Jared. You see that? Yep. So what we'll do is we'll feed this one um, and then we'll move through the collection and we'll just try to feed as many babies as we can. So we've got boiling hot water here. This is the size of the rat fluffs. They're good size. We dip them in hot water and then we just dry them out a little bit on the paper present with tongs. Let's see if this fellow will, will take this. This is your cinnamon head pie, Jared. Let's see whether he's up for it. Now, here we go. He's thinking about it. He may not, may not be used to being camera. He might be a bit camera shy, but he'll nail it. Can you nail it? He's thinking about it. I wonder if it's hot enough for him. Let me just get a bit more heat on there. He's probably not used to the camera and the daytime light as well. So in an ideal world, you want to be fishing more in the dark. Fishing. Feeding in the dark, sorry. Do you want to be fishing as well? Fishing too. Come on, fella. You gonna take? Everything else was uh, really fast. This one's taking his time. There you go, you got him in the end. <laughs> Did you get him, Jack? Yeah. There we go. So that's six out of six so far. Uh, let's try the Het Pied over here. Now he'll take the decent sized fluff. Now you can see here, anything with fluffy basically retains its smell better. So as, as the hatchlings get bigger, we move them into, well, some of them start off like this, don't they, Jared? Every single one. You start off with that unless they have to assist feed. Jared started off every single one with a, a rat fluff and the only ones that are being assist fed get a pup to make it easy for them to, to take it. So this is a 100% het pied female which is available. Oh, he's already got one. I've already given her one. <laughs> She's getting it down, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry darling. I thought she wanted, uh, okay so that's fine. Oh, it's this one here. This is the 100% het clown which has been bought from us. So. Let's give him a meal. I'll just have to present to him. You want a meal? He's thinking about it. Might have cooled down. Let me just heat it up a little bit. It looked like he was about to go for it. He's <laughs> probably about to go for it then. There you go, fell. Now you can see how big he is, Jay. Look how big he is. This is one of our hatchings for this year. It must be about getting on for 250 to 300. So it's lovely to see the hatchlings feeding so well. This is Peter, which is our pied male. And look, he's well poised to eat. Can you see the S shape he's in? Yeah. I'll just grab a rat jar. See whether he will take this one. It's one of your favourite little, little hatchlings, isn't it, Jay? You like him? Yeah, he's a nice little pied. Yeah. Lots of lovely patterns and markings. Yeah. Let's see if he'll take this. There you go, big fella. Beautiful. 
Lovely, isn't it, Chad? Lovely. Then you've got your biscuit, which is a cinnamon pied female. And she's normally got quite a good appetite. It's interesting how some of them, even when they're in the shed as hatchlings, they, they want the food. And you'll find that once the hatchlings start feeding, Jared, they normally feed regularly every week, don't they? Yeah. Do you find that? Yeah, usually. Okay, let's just uh, see if Biscuit will take hers. Where is she at the moment? She's hiding underneath everything. We might have to just uncover her first. So let's just uncover her, see where she is. Oh, I might have to bring her out actually. Let's bring her out and see whether we can get her to eat on the table here. We don't normally do this, do we, Jay? We let them feed out of their rubs normally, but she's completely buried. She's doing good. She's probably getting on for about 200 grams now, would you say, Jad? Yeah. So I'll just try this one off for her. She's in a lovely position to take, and she's just going to smell the food and hopefully nail it. Beautiful. So what you do find, Jad, is that sometimes when they're under their bedding and they're not used to being... They're not ready for it. You've got to sometimes give them a chance to wake up to the reality that there's a prey item, there's a scent item there. Um, and we've literally, you know, just put these rats out. They haven't even been permeating in the room for more than probably 10 minutes. But it just goes to show that the feeding instincts of these animals are incredible as they get going. Yeah. Um, did I give on to that one? I can't remember if I've, I don't think I have. I haven't seen it. I'll pull this one out again, show it on the table. Get him to prepare himself in the in a nest position. There we go. He knows it's feeding time. So now this is one of your cinnamon babies, Chad, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it 100 percent head for pied? Yeah, 100 percent head for pied. So Elvis was the daddy and the mummy was toast, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And the boy or girl this one? Boy. This is boy, he's available if anybody would like to buy one for their projects. We'll show how he eats. There you go, no problems at all. So it's quite nice actually to show our viewers because there could be some potential viewers out there that might be interested in buying these snakes. And I just wanted to show you how Jared's got them trained to eat <laughs> pretty well. So you won't have problems feeding them with decent sized prey items and they'll be able to progress very quickly in your projects. So yeah, he's a cinnamon 100% het pied boy and putting on some good weight Jared. Now what I like to do is change the tissue, so if it's a bit wet, I just change the tissue like that. Back on here. And let's just see where we are. So we're now, now we're moving on to a more recent clutch where it's gonna be more delicate feeding now because they've only had one, possibly two mils. And I think you assist fed one of these Jared, didn't you, 183. So I don't know whether she'll take a small prey item, but this one is a Super Pastel 50% um, Het Pied girl. Let's see whether she's up for eating at all. Yeah. Oh, yep, she's up for it alright. She's getting into a position now. I would choose a small uh, rat fluff, because when you get these animals, you get them in diff slightly different sizes, don't you Jared? And you select them according to the size of the animal. So I've gone for a slight, it's not a rut pup, it's kind of, it is a fluff, but it's a small fluff. Lovely. So that's probably our only second meal. She didn't have one before, and I can't remember if you were cis fed or not, Jared, but no. was she doing that last week? I think she just took a couple of weeks to get started. Yeah. Now Cornelius is our super pastel banana 50% het pied boy. Now he... Um, let's see whether he's interested in some food. I'll just get a, another smaller rat fluff in there. Let's heat it up for him. Now, let's see whether he's got an appetite. If not, we'll come back and assist feed him. But hopefully he'll take. He's had a couple of meals and he's taken a couple of bites. Starting to come out. Because he's sensing that there's food about, Jared. Yeah. There you go, fella. Maybe a little bit more 
eight. <laughs> He's a bit camera shy, Jared. Let's represent to him. Showing an interest, is licking his tongue. He's coming out of his hide, investigating the food. He's playing a little bit tricky this one. So a bit more cautious than the other ones. Is your water hot enough? Mm. Starting to cool down a little bit, Jared. So I try yours. So you've got your water there. Let's just try. Jared uses a plastic container, which I think keeps the water a lot warmer. We'll soon find out. <laughs> See what happens. But it might be that we can. If he doesn't take it this time, we'll put him on our assist feed at the end of the video. Showing an interest, look, look. Take it, Cornelius. So this one's a little bit shyer than, oh. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Right, we won't go any further than that. So Jared, if you can recall 184 to assist feed, we'll do that at the end of the video. And then let's see if Roly Poly will take. Now Roly Poly's in shed, so it might not take. Let's have a little look and see how he's doing. There he is. We'll still present to him. If he doesn't take it, we'll let him rest. Now he's your cinnamon head pie, Jared, isn't he? Yeah, you saw that pie. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful pants too. From the same clutch as the ones earlier. Yeah. Okay, let's um, see whether he wants to eat at all. You want to eat, fella? Hmm, just thinking about it. Licking his lips, even in shed. Took it in shed, Jad. Roly poly. <laughs> well, there we go. So these babies are quite incredible, aren't they, Jad? Yeah. Right. Let's move on to the 100% heck clown. See how that one's doing. So what I might do to help them come out and feed is take the hide away. Look, that. As soon as I do that, look, look. See the nose going up, Jad. Mm -hmm. Good sized animal that one. So I'm going to give him a decent sized rat fluff. Oh, he's not even aware of what he's doing, <laughs> he's just toppling over. He knows there's food in the air though. He knows it's time for, for, for uh, dinner. Are you going to come? No problems at all. I love the way they get their head onto the head. Can you see how beautiful that is, Jess? So, we'll just put the hide back for him so he can go back under his hide at the end. And we'll let him enjoy that. And you've got one of our females, Sif showing an interest as well but she's not due to be fed until friday so we'll leave her now we're moving on to betty who's our butter uh hatchling and she's putting on good weight jared you pleased with how she's progressing yeah she looks good yeah so let's present a food item to her see if she'll take there we go my darling No problems. Within seconds, Jad. Within seconds. Lovely. Now, I think these are the ones that have only had one meal or been assisted, so I'm not expecting these. These could be on the assist feed side. So let's have a look and see whether 185 is up for some food. And I think she was assist fed last week, so I'll give her a small item, Jad. Have we got any small items on your side? Um, I 
let's just try a small rat pup to start with. So that we can get her to strike without being assisted. So we'll keep the prey item small for her to make it easier for her to take the prey if she's up for it. Licking her lips, showing an interest, showing an interest. You gonna take it? Make it a little bit hotter for her. So it can be tricky, Jared, can't it, to get hatchlings to feed? Yeah, you've got to be patient sometimes. The key is patience, isn't it? And not to worry either. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a couple of weeks when you get started. Yeah. Little movements sometimes help. So a hatchling can see it as a threat rather than a food item. So as soon as they get used to being fed and knowing it's good for them, and they go away from being defensive strikes to actually let's strike and eat. And there's a, a, a transition in, in every snake, isn't there, to learn how to do that. Um, well, most snakes. So she's getting there, she's showing an interest. I wonder if I get a little bit closer to her tongue, whether that will help or she might back off. Well, one more time and then we'll put her down as an assist feed if she doesn't take this time. So 184 and 185, same with the same hatchlings and the same clutch. You gonna take? Come on, you can take it. So patience paid off there. She eventually took it. Wow. So you can see how some of these newer hatchlings, they don't take straight away, but if you move the prey item and be patient and try three or four times, you eventually get there. So there's a classic example of Jared assist feeding last week and then her learning that it's not a threat, but it's actually a food item. I stepped down a small prey item to make it easy for her to hit it and, and to feel less defensive. A bigger prey item is going to put them more on the defensive. So if you have an animal that isn't feeding or doesn't want to feed, step down the prey size and it'll go from perhaps defensive to let's attack and eat this thing. <laughs> so that's really good. So only, at the moment we've only got 184 to really look at. Now, uh, Hella, which is Emily's, one of Emily's favourites, she is very defensive, Jared. You assist fed her last week. Let's try a small prey item again, and this time, see whether she'll strike and eat by herself, rather than be assist fed. If she doesn't, we'll assist feed her. And sometimes you can assist feed an animal four or five times, can't you, before they get it. Sometimes more than that, I've heard of some breeders that have done it for six times, so let's just see whether she'll take this prey item for herself. She's thinking about it. It's good that she's not striking in defense. She's now pursuing it as though it's a food item. She's getting into an S-coil, which is what you want. And sometimes I back off a little bit to give them a chase. And some animals like the chase. Some animals won't take it until they see a bit of a chase. So now the prey item's got a little bit colder, so it's worth heating up again. How are we doing for time, Jared? 20 minutes. So we'll probably just do this last one, or this last row, and then we'll move on to assist feeds. Oof, see that? So that was a defensive strike, Jared. Defensive strike. So she hasn't quite learned that it's actually her food. She's seeing it as a threat. 
I might wrap it this time. Heat it again. So now you're witnessing a, a defensive strike, but it could translate into a strike and a, and a, um, a wrap. I'll try one more time. Just learning to feed. You take it. No, I don't think she's going to take this chance. So I think we'll sis feed. So let's switch cameras, Joe. Do you want to give her this as in sis feed, and we'll just demonstrate how we do that? So this will be her second week of assist feeding. And let's see Joe's technique of how to do this. Funny, she's poised again to strike, isn't she? Do you want to present another hot bit of food to her again, just in case she'll take it for more time? I think she's more in the defensive. Yeah, give her one more mm. attempt, because we've got to try and help her learn to do this for herself. And sometimes you can rush in and this is feed too early, I think, but she might end up just striking it. She might take it and wrap it. Oh, almost. You should just get defensive. Yeah. About it. Okay, should we be a cis feeder then, Jared? Yep. There's a cis feed. Yeah, so I don't want to get bitten, so I'm just going right. to get her out of defensive mode. Mm -hmm. And just talk us through how you go about a cis feeding, So Jared. what you want to do is you want to get your hands there. So you want your, your thumb and your finger either side, and then your finger on the top there. Yep. Like that. Yep. Then I hold her body between my arm and my belly. Yeah. Get the rat, the head of the rat, and pry open her mouth. So you're using the rat to open up her, to get it into her mouth, yeah. Yeah, start to put it in. Yeah. Then I grab the tongs. Yeah. And I grab the head and I just push it down a little bit. Yeah, nice and gently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just gently into it. Yeah. Her throat a little bit. You don't want to force feed her. Yeah. But you want it to be in there enough. Oh, she's dropped it out. Okay. So sometimes they do that. Let me get a different rat. Okay. Because that one's crushed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we try it again. Yeah. And the key is you don't want to stress the snake out too much. Yeah. Okay. So same again. Mm-hmm. Either side on the top, get her body away from her. Rat goes in. Yep. And you pry up. Yep. Put it into the throat. Yep. Get the tongs and just push it down gently and slowly. Mm -hmm. So it goes in. Mm -hmm. So there, the head's in now. Yeah. Then you want to try and close the mouth on the prey. Yeah. And hold it there for a little bit. Let's drop it again. Drop it again. Okay, try one more this time. This girl's a nightmare. The battery's almost dead here, so we'll try one more time. <laughs> She's not the easiest assist feed, but I think people get the general gist of what they need to do. Yeah. But uh, we'll try it one more time. Or you could rest her and try on another animal if you think she's getting stressed. We'll do one more. One more time, okay. And then we'll give her a break. Open her up. Rat in. You can see why Beth Emily called her Hella. She gives us hell. Hella and when? Yes, she is. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm going to put it down really gently. Yeah. See, so I should take that herself now. Yeah. So now it's in her mouth. She might spit it out again. Yeah. And if she does, then we'll just give her a break. Yeah. But she might realise this is food and take it in. Yeah. Right now she's trying to get it out. Yeah. And that's why we've got to push it just a bit down her throat so she can't get it out as easy. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing this with us, Jared. So I'll probably wrap up the video now because we're running out of battery. Thank you everyone for um, joining us tonight on this feeding session. You can see that each of the snakes have different feeding instincts. Some are really on it, some are in between and some need assist feeding. So uh, hopefully um, Jared's technique, um, please do give it a go. Um, we shall catch you next time. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye for now.